Hello, my name is Nerve Gorilla. I just got done reading or listening to an audiobook called Sandworm by Andy Greenberg, who talks about cyber war and hackers and vulnerabilities and exploits and all that stuff. And it made it sound very scary. It made it sound like the internet and computers are very scary. And so I wanted to see if it's possible to use this little worm or hack or vulnerability called Eternal Blue, developed by the NSA, I wanted to see if I could hack myself with it. So on the left side of the screen, you'll see that I have Kali Linux installed. And on the right side of the screen, I have a very old version of Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate. And it has Service Pack 1. Even though it has Service Pack 1, it's still vulnerable. It doesn't have the patch that fixes the exploit. The exploit, of course, is called Eternal Blue. And it was supposedly developed by the NSA. So I wanted, I was curious, and I wanted to see if I could hack myself. So let's try it. Let's, uh, first of all, on Windows 7, let's open a command window and type ipconfig and see what my IP address is. Okay, it's 192.168.1.67. So let's use a little text document here first to see if that port is open. And how we do that is a little piece of software called Nmap. I'll zoom in on it. This is Nmap hyphen P445 and then the IP address. So it's gonna to check to see if port 445 is open on this IP address. So it's doing a check, and it says, filtered, Microsoft DS. So filtered means it's not open. That's what that means. Okay, well let's use another program on Linux here called uh, e Eternal Blue uh, Scanner, I believe it's called. So we're gonna CD home nerve eternal scanner, and we're gonna sudo escan. Okay, let's zoom in on this. So we're gonna do a port scanner. There has a little graphics as eternal scanner, version 2.4. 192, we're gonna type in 168.1.67. And it's gonna see if the IP is vulnerable, if it's, if it's hackable, if it can get hacked with eternal blue. Well, it says IPs detected with port 445 open so far, zero. Okay. And let's see, what's the results? It says it was not detected in 192.168.1.67. Well, I'll tell you why that is. That is because in Windows 7 here, by default, if you go to Control Panel and you go to System and Security, Windows Firewall, you can see that I have the firewall on, okay? Let's go to Advanced Firewall Settings. Okay, I like this window better. Windows Firewall, all right? Now in this screen, you've got three different profiles, domain, private, and public. So for private, that's what we're gonna do because we're on the same network. Let's turn the firewall off. I wouldn't typically recommend this, but this is gonna allow us to be exploited and I'm gonna hack my own computer. So I just turned the firewall off Let's scan again, 192.168.1.67, okay, here it goes. I guess I'll zoom in a little bit just to see. It's doing another scan. The only thing I did was turn the firewall off now. Oh, it says IPs detected with port 445 open so far one. Now it is checking the IP to see if it's a vulnerable. Real-time eternal scan Metasploit 6 results. Check out. Please wait for percentage output. Oh, yep. So, as it says, one vulnerable IP is found. This IP. Eternal scanner, save the vulnerable IPs to this text file here. And that's it. I'm not yet hacked. I didn't hack yet but this is a program called Eternal um, Scanner. Let's try that Nmap one more time and you'll see that it says something different now. You'll see it says open instead of filtered now. You see that? What did I do? Remember, all I did was disable this firewall right here, private firewall. So if it's on by default. So in order to be exploited, you have to go in and turn the firewall off. But there's a lot of people on the internet 
and the audiobook I just showed you. A lot of people that makes the internet sound like it's so scary and it's so easy to be hacked and everything's vulnerable and your orifice is wide open and that's not true. If you have a typical firewall open, it's, it's either one or zero, on or off. And there's people out there, again, that will tell you that you can bypass firewalls. No, you can't. You can't. It's either on or off. It either blocks it or it allows it. And because I just disabled the firewall, I should be able to hack myself right now. Let's try. Let's try sudo. Uh, I don't need to e-scan again. I actually have to run the exploit now. So I do that in, my, in Kali, Kali Linux here, by using this MSF console. And it should load up right here in Kali. Now, this computer on the right does not know that it's about to get butt raped. <laughs> Pardon my vernacular. But that's what we're going to call it. Now, here we can type search eternal. All right. And if you scroll up, you can see all the stuff related to eternal. And the very first one is called eternal blue. Okay, that's what it is. So let's run the exploit. Let's use the exploit. This program we're using is called Metasploit, if you want to look it up. So we're going to type this use exploit windows SMB, blah, 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 eternal blue. All right, it says no payload configured. So we're going to do show options. Okay, you can see kind of how it works. And we'll just type this set our host and then the IP. Okay, then we're going to set this payload to reverse HTTP. All right, and I'm going to just type the word exploit now. Let's see if we see anything happen on the right side of the screen. And I'm going to tell you that you won't. You won't know that it's happening. Okay, it's sending the exploit over right now. Still going. Oh, it said fail. That's weird. Okay. Still doing some stuff. Okay. Now it just says, uh, mat Meterpreter session one opened. And it looks like it's a website now. So I should be able to open that website, right? Open link. Hmm. Let's type sysinfo. Oh, yeah, see, it's, it's in there. You can see Nerve, that's the name of the PC, 64-bit. So if you type hash dump, this is the password hash dump. There you go. There's the users, administrator, guest. Now this is a hash dump, so it's the passwords, but it's it in hash form. So you'll have to take some time to hack the passwords. But And then type. I'm going to type screen share. Okay, look at this. I'm going to try to zoom out a little bit. Okay. So I don't think I can move anything. I can't control it that way, but if this one moves, you can see that it's moving. See what I'm saying? So it's hacked, right? So I can watch it, I can take screenshot, there's a bunch of other options that you can do. Uh, you can also create files and everything. So basically you can own the machine. But in order to do that, I had to disable the firewall. Now, this is just on the same LAN, local area network. But if this Windows 7 computer on the right side was on the internet, you'd have to do two things to be hacked. One, you'd have to disable your public profile firewall, and then you would have to port forward on your router 445 to this IP right here, this Windows machine. So you'd have to open the port on your router, point it to this machine, and disable the firewall. That's two things to get hacked. So, th so it's not that easy every time to be able to just exploit somebody. They have to do all the right things in the right order. Now, if this machine were to update this Windows 7 update, it also 
get rid of the exploit too. There's a patch for it. There's a Windows patch for it. So I just wanted to say that don't be fear-mongered on the internet and don't be so afraid to, uh, to try different things. Don't be afraid that you're gonna get hacked instantly. It's not true. Part of the reason people got hacked with this is because they didn't have their firewall on or they had port 445 open. That's the reason. This NSA thing, eternal blue, that's why. I just proved it. When you turn the firewall back on, uh, it's too late in this case. Once they hack you, turning the firewall on is not going to prevent anything now. I've, I've actually tested it. So you have to make sure that you don't get hacked in the first place. You know, hopefully it doesn't happen. But, you know, just keep updated. Keep your security uh, updates going. Make sure you don't... Um, open ports unless you unless you have to, you know? Don't open like port 445 on your Windows PC. Um, there is an exploit for most version of Windows uh, for Eternal Blue here. But uh, if you're gonna be running a service like uh, Jellyfin or um, an RSS feeder or like audio bookshelf like I do, it's far less risky because it's not, it doesn't have a vulnerability. There are websites out there that show vulnerabilities. I think it's actually built right here, right here, like exploit databases right here in Kali Linux. So the latest one at the top is the latest exploited piece of software. And there's, um, there's VirtualBox privilege escalation. So if you got that version of VirtualBox, you should probably upgrade. So this is a big list and you can search things. You can type in different searches and find different exploits, but you can also patch them out. So anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video about this and show you. That's it. Bye.